everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today I'll be giving a 100% honest review on OG slimes. I'll be showing you a package worth about $150. This package did sit for a while so I did activate them accordingly. If you enjoy my slime reviews and ASMR, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and also stay tuned for my shop relaunch. Now let's start off with what they included inside the package. I purchased 8 slimes from them. They also included a gifted mini slime, their business and care cards, 2 borax baggies, a sticker and a sticker sheet, along with 3 haiju candies. Everything arrived safely inside a box full of packing peanuts. The slimes range from $15 to $18 each, not including my discount, and the 8 slimes that I purchased were matcha cloud, brownie bites, snowball fight, El spaghetti, dragon fruit refresher, slimy frank, powdered juicy orange, and milk and cookies. Now let's start off with our first slime, which is a DIY clay slime. This one is called brownie bites. This is a DIY clay slime that comes with a variety of add-ins. First off, we have this full-size, rich brown colored glossy base. It is thick and glossy, semi-stretchy, really great for bubble pops. Really love the chocolatey color and even smells like it since it smells pretty strongly like fudge brownies. The base is very holdable and I really enjoy squishing it and it seems like there's probably a bit of clear glue in it as well. When purchasing a DIY clay slime, I definitely recommend playing with the base before adding in the clay pieces. This one also comes with a dark brown crunchy snow fizz to add on top. It's very nicely packed so it makes it super crunchy which adds some texture into the whole slime. And of course, it comes with two soft clay brownies. You also get some extra toppings inside these baggies, some cornstarch, which is fake powdered sugar, and some fake choco chunk pieces. This slime definitely has a lot of attention to detail and is great for anyone who really loves to build their own slimes. And here's the final product. They look exactly like edible brownie bites, but of course you can eat slime. It also smells so delicious, it's very chocolatey and strong sweet scent. Please don't mind my dog. Anyways, as you can see, the clay pieces were super soft, even though I let it sit for a while and they mixed in so beautifully into the slime. I loved all the different shades of brown. The base slime is so glossy as well and just really reminds me of chocolate syrup. Since the base is relatively thick, it does turn the slime into a thick, squishy clay slime. This one has some added texture from the snow fizz and when you inflate it, it makes really nice crackly ASMR. Definitely recommend this if you're looking for a thick DIY clay slime that looks extremely delectable. This next slime is probably my favorite texture in this package and it's called Powdered Juicy Orange. It comes with a thick jelly slime base with a reddish orange color scented like orange juice and comes with a powdered clay orange and a fake leaf charm. I love the jelly slime base as is. It is super thick and super juicy. It just has this gummy like feeling that is very unique and I just love squeezing it. It's super holdable and great for bubble pops as well. This clay piece did dry up a little bit since I let it sit for a while and it seems like these screw top containers aren't as sealed off as the deli containers but I did soften it up by wrapping it in a wet paper towel and let it sit overnight and that absorbs the moisture which helps revive your clay piece if you want it to be soft and easy to mix in. 
And as you can see, it did work. The clay piece was very soft and very easy to mix in. Once you fully mix it in, the texture turns into a squishy, soft and stretchy, fluffy snow cream slime. This one is my favorite because it gets so fluffy and inflatable. And once you inflate it, it becomes really foamy and sizzly. I personally think a bit of instant snow does improve a clay slime. This texture is super addicting to inflate. The scent though isn't my favorite and I definitely think it can be improved. It's not the most realistic orange juice scent I've ever smelled. This one smells more of like an orange cleaner, but it does have a fresh fruity citrus scent. Next up, we have Dragon Fruit Refresher, which is a bright magenta pink clear slime, which has some fake seeds in it. This slime is ultra clear while still being scented, and it smells just like a fruity dragon fruit. It's a very refreshing and slightly sour scent, and I really love this texture. It's very holdable, it's nice and thick, it doesn't feel tacky at all. It does have more of a slow stretch, but is really great for bubble pops. I think the pink is super pretty, and is spot on just like the drink. It also comes with a mini jelly slime that has mini jelly cubes in it as well and two realistic ice cube charms. And here's what the slime looks like when it's fully assembled. It makes me really want a drink from Starbucks. The mini jelly slime doesn't really change the color or the texture too much. It does add a tiny bit amount of snow into the slime and it doesn't change the clarity of the slime at all. Overall, this is a great thick clear slime texture. I definitely recommend it and of course it's great for bubble pops.
Next up, we have Milk and Cookies, which is again another DIY clay slime. This one comes with a super thick and glossy base that I forgot to show you on camera, but it is very nice. It's very stretchy and smooth, and of course, great for bubble pops. This one comes with a giant clay cookie with some fake chocolate chips on top. Super soft and very easy to mix in. I like how the cookie has some texture, which makes it look more realistic. As you can see, it is ultra soft and very easy to mix in. And the mixing part is very satisfying since you get some nice bubble pops. Once you fully mix the slime up, it turns into a thick, squishy clay slime texture. And when you do inflate it, it makes nice cracking ASMR. The slime is scented just like the name and it smells very strongly like chocolate chip cookies. This next slime is called Matcha Cloud. It is a green colored cloud slime that comes with a fake leaf charm. And it does have a matching matcha green tea scent that I think is a bit on the sweeter side. Since I did let my slime sit for a long time, the cloud slime did turn into a cloud cream, which is very normal with any snow-based slime. So this isn't a completely accurate review of the type of slime you would get if you opened up your package right away. But if you did let it sit for a very long time, this is probably what it will look like. It does turn into a fluffy cloud cream and it's not as fluffy and drizzly as it once was. This one is more of a cloud dough since it's very thick and doughy. It's a very holdable slime that does fluff up slightly. It's a mostly dry slime and there is just a tiny bit amount of snow residue. Although I can't really drizzle it anymore, it's still nice and sizzly. For our next slime, we have Snowball Fight, which is another DIY clay slime. This one comes with a vibrant blue thick clear slime base. This one feels very similar to the clear slime base in Dragon Fruit Refresher. It's nice and stretchy, very holdable, and makes really nice bubble pops. 
I think the slime is unscented. I can't really remember what the slime is scented or if it is scented, but I don't really smell anything from it. It is a nice change in pace. I do think OG slimes do have stronger scented slimes and this one is nice to have. It gives my nose a little break. And it'll be nice to play with this one if I don't want my hands to smell like slime. Anyways, this one comes with a clay snowball with a bunch of sprinkles and add-ins in it. There are some snowflake femos, some glitters, and some snow fizz, I believe. The clay piece did dry up a bit when I did let it sit inside the screw top container, but I did fix it and soften it up by wrapping it up with a wet paper towel and letting it sit overnight. And it worked very well and softened up the clay piece really nicely, so I was able to squish it up for you guys on camera. This one looks super gorgeous while mixing with all the sparkly add-ins. And I just love how blue clear slimes look with a white clay piece. It really looks like foamy ocean waves. This one turns into another thick and squishy clay slime texture. But I think this one is probably the squishiest one because of the clear slime base. This one is great for bubble pops and is very easy to inflate. It turns into a fluffy pillowy texture. This next slime is called Slimy Frank. It is a rainbow colored icy slime that I was very surprised that the slimes did not mix. You can still see the separation of colors like the yellow, green, and the blue. This one comes with a baggie of cute add-ins. There are rainbows, rainbow reels, rainbow sprinkles, hearts, and smiley faces. The texture is a soft icy slime. This one fell a little wet but not too wet or not too dry and I think it's a great mix. It's nice and sizzly as well, and I did notice that the texture didn't have too much structure, which I believe it's because the slime it did sit for a while. Fun fact, snow-based slimes don't really melt, or they don't melt as fast. For example, the cloud slime didn't melt, but it did lose its drizzliness, and this icy slime didn't melt, but it did lose its structure. So it is very stretchy and very squishy as well, but I think adding some activator will make it a lot easier to play with and have more structure while I'm stretching it. But just like the cloud slime, this isn't the most accurate review since this is what it looks like after letting it sit for a while. It's still a great slime, it's nice and sizzly, and I really like how the color didn't turn into an ugly brown and it turned into this nice green. I believe the scent of this slime is a fruity soda pop and it does smell kind of like that to me. To me, it smells more like a fruity candy since it's a really sweet scent. I also like how there's not a ton of snow residue so I really recommend it if you're looking for a non-sticky cooling type of slime.
The last slime that I purchased is called Elf Spaghetti. This one is another DIY clay slime. It comes with a thick green cloud cream base and a clay ramen piece, which is supposed to be the spaghetti and a brown jelly slime. I can't forget the baggie of add-ins, which are some rainbow sprinkles and M&M Fimos. The base slime feels like your basic thick cloud cream slime. So it's very stretchy, great for bubble pops, and is very holdable. I topped off the slime with the clay spaghetti, drizzled on some of the chocolate jelly syrup and the rainbow sprinkles. And overall, this slime looks super adorable and really does remind me of Elf Spaghetti. If you're not sure where it's from, it's from the movie Elf and this is the spaghetti that Buddy the Elf makes. I also think the scent of the slime is very fitting. I can't find the actual listing or what it's actually scented, but it smells mostly minty with some sweet chocolate and a bit of candy. The clay piece is very easy to mix in and once I mix it up, it just feels like a soft, creamy cloud cream slime. It does inflate slightly and I do like how it makes really nice sizzles. Lastly, we have this mini 3 ounce slime that they included in my package. The label on this slime is super adorable. I like how the freebie is a smile and it has little heart eyes. Anyways, this one is a thick and glossy slime. It's a semi foam using some marshmallow beads and has a sweet bakery scent that I can't really pinpoint, but it might be a sweet coconut cream. Overall, it's a nice stretchy texture that makes really nice bubble pops. Overall, I enjoyed my package from OG Slimes. I really like how unique their ideas are and all their textures are really great as well. Definitely recommend you check them out. And that is all for this slime review video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!